worry about it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thunder and Lightning Gaming. I'm Thunder. And I'm Lightning. And um, oh, shit. Well, we, and I'm what, sorry. And I, fr- we, I keep forgetting. I Yeah, do your thing. So we were, just to let you guys know, we were dropping a bunch of frames, but we stopped. So I'm going to keep it rolling. Um, I'm going to see what happens. What you were just listening to is the soundtrack to, let me find it, uh, uh, the soundtrack to Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage, which came out today um, on the Sega Genesis uh, 28 years ago. Wow. Um, there was a lot on the list this time around. Star Wars Force Unleashed, Simpsons Hit and Run, Pokemon Emerald, Shaolin Monks. But when it came to soundtracks, I was like, gotta do, gotta do Spider-Man and Venom. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Before, and welcome to, oh. the, to the stream. I just don't get the fucking talk. What are you going to say? Say it. What are you going to say? Big shout out to the Koopa Kids who are playing a music festival tonight. Boom, boom. If you're in the area or if you know where that is, I didn't get much information, but they're okay. out there playing. Uh, the Koopa Kids are one of the North Shore of New England's only video game tribute bands, which is cool. They played MAGFest. They've played PAX East. They're really awesome. So if you get the opportunity, check them out. And um, just the lead singer or perhaps multiple band members from Koopa Kids are in Froggy and the Friendship, which is only relevant because uh, that is the um, I'm gonna the, the people who do our, uh, our theme song, which I think I can if I do this, right? Nope. Hold on. I'll figure it out. I believe you. If we're going to talk to him, I made it so I could link to him. Hey, there we go. Sunny Day by Fr- there's both versions of Sunny Day by Friday yeah. Friendship. So uh, look out for that. And if you like the uh, the musical stylings of the lead singer, check out the Koopa Kids. Yeah, they're specifically a video game uh, music band, as Chris mentioned. Uh, but and that's yes, me. if you are watching this stream, then we are going to be doing our podcast uh, right now, where we talk about our weeks. We talk about. Um, uh, news. Yeah, pop culture news. Um, and, and then we, a segment. And then we might do a segment or two. We'll see. We'll see what those pertain to. Yeah. We'll see when we get there. Um. So yeah, I think I start. Uh yeah. Okay. How are we doing on frames? Um, we just dropped a bunch randomly. I think we're good. Okay. I think I'll keep an eye on it. If it gets like super bad. Maybe I'll stop it, but I'll oh, see it's gone. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody just let us know. Well, it's we're definitely dropping frames. I'm just what I'm saying. What I'm like, I don't know if it's worth starting the stream over and trying to make it work better because, as we know, that sometimes that doesn't even help. Yeah, we'll see if it levels out. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, I had a pretty big week. Oh, good, because <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Um, well, I already talked about the shows, right? Yeah. Okay. Did I talk about my show? Uh, the, the one that, no, because that was Sunday, so no, you didn't talk about that. Yeah, right, right, right. So, um, over that past weekend, we saw, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, which I think I mentioned on the video game. You definitely talked about... What was the concert that you almost got beat up because that one guy? That was Aerosmith. Yeah, so you talked about Aerosmith. I don't yeah. know if you talked about anything else. Well, we saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers that yes. Saturday, and they were awesome. They, I introduced me to this guy called Thundercat, and he's the maybe most amazing bassist I've ever seen. Then my band played our very first show Sunday, Lions and Lavender. At first it sounded like the way you were. Came on it. after the yeah, Red Hot Chili like Peppers. Yeah, it you took the stage. <laughs> like you, like Red, Red Hot Chili Peppers was your opener. No, Sunday night, my band, <laughs> my band played their very first show, and it was really, really good. I'm really excited. Um, we've already got a bunch of offers for other shows. We're actually already booked to play uh, my birthday in Beverly. Wait, that was your first show? I thought you played at the Hard Rock. We did an open mic. This was our oh, first full set. This was the first t- set. You were like. You were on the bill or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was an open mic we showed up to, and Got then it. we did two songs. This was a full forty-five minute, fifty minute set. Nice. Yeah, and then next Saturday we're gonna do it again somewhere else. Oh, cool. Yeah, 
I'd definitely like to get you, Kelsey, that one and could, Catherine. Yeah, that, that one. It's in Beverly. It's in Beverly. Oh, so it's close. Where? Yes. Yes. We. Yes. I can. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to that <laughs> one. Cool. Cool. Unless I get deathly ill, I'm gonna go to that one. Sick. Um. Was well, hey, Thunder and Lightning Gaming have a new uh, video uploaded to YouTube. That's I see that because I see the notification oh, right that's there. That's what the notification means. But that um, them being in that tab means that I've been uh, watching those channels oh. recently because the other day I couldn't fall asleep, and when I like really actually can't fall asleep, I tend to uh, watch our videos. That's fair. Keep boost boost up the views. I, <laughs> I get it. I, I get it. it. No, no yeah, I see. I get it. Why I did it. Um, There's a reason we're at 116,000 views on I'll the three cabs. I get. I see. I got gotcha. you. Replay. Yeah, that's what no, I figured. That def- no, no. And, and for legal purposes, that's a joke. I wouldn't do that, and I didn't do that. Don't take my video away from me, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, they do like to do that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so that was really awesome. We've been getting a lot of offers to play shows. Um, school, my second week of school, w- went just just like this. Nice. So that's good. Not 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 a full gif of that kid, but like a little yeah, a little, a little less little, energetic. Little, yeah, a little yeah. Uh, motif of that kid. We gotta add that kid to our stream somehow. I've already said I that. Gotta, I've already said that. No, I just keep forgetting. And also, I don't have a keyboard, so... Oh, that's a different issue. Is that on the way, by the way? Mm-hmm. It's ordered. Monday is when they said it'll come Sick. here. So I expect it by Wednesday. Um, big shout-out to Drizzle and Tsunami and everybody who's a part of this channel and who watches this channel because we have reached over 100 followers, which I think needed to be said. Yeah, It needed definitely. to be announced. We're very appreciative. That is very cool. Yeah. Um, that if I may be so candid, happened yeah. way quicker than it did on YouTube. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. It's it's almost like we're more fun live and we're more... Uh, it, it's better to see our faces. Which is honestly not the direction I saw us going when we started, but I don't no. I don't mind it at all. Yeah, whatever, a lot of fun. whatever goes, whatever, you know, yeah. whichever way the wind blows. Yeah. Um, since we're not going to be doing a video game podcast for a while, I do have one Next video week, game yeah. thing. Well, that's a while. I'm gonna forget this no, I'm just letting you know. little anecdote. Yeah, go for it. No, I don't give a shit. Dude. Christ. Go for it. I'm just letting you know. You said for a while. <laughs> no, it's every other week. Um, I was playing chivalry. Yes. Big surprise. Uh, and like I said, I've been I've been honing in on my skills on chivalry. I'm getting a little better than than the average medieval knight. <laughs> Thank you for saying it like that. Um. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. Sorry, I'm. Well, I, I want you to hear this. I, I know, want you to hear this. I thought this. of a D and D thing. Oh, okay. Just let me write it down. I'll All right. Write it down. I'll just we streams on pause. No, no, no. Streams not on pause. Okay, well, I'll start the story. You referenced so, Yogi Bear, and my mind I, went. Hold on, wait. Hang on. So, there's different game modes on Chivalry, and what I was playing was free for all, which is every man for himself. And the way that works is you, there's a certain amount of kills you have to reach. First person to reach that amount of kills wins. Yes, this is the game mode you spoke of last week. Yeah, in the video in the podcast that'll be uploaded Monday. Yeah, so this is your preferred game mode. Um, one of here's okay. the deal: when I'm playing teams, in the team that I'm on just isn't doing it. They're right. just like not interested in playing, or well, they're dicking around. Isn't there like that crazy dual mode where it's like one uh, that and I won't one. even touch. That, oh, okay. I won't even touch that anymore. because it's j- that is if there's a troll on chivalry, it's whoever's oh. playing dual. Okay. Um. But uh, oh, I keep fucking that up. God damn. What's it's okay. Everything's okay. Okay. I'm I just a- I keep I keep scrolling away from the from the. Uh, Stream and then it keeps pausing on me oh. and I can't unpause it for some reason. So I'm playing free for all and we just started off and the gentleman to the left of me decides to attack me. Um, and so we're going at it and like you know he's getting some goods I'm getting some good good hits and like I'm like a hit away from death. I don't know how well he's doing at this point, so I back off right. And he clearly thought I was backing off to heal. Oh. So he starts taunting. Oh. Little does he know, I was backing off 
to take out my hatchet to fucking throw at him. And you can't do anything while you're taunting. Right. So I back so you off. So you, uh, you can't cancel a taunt like in Smash Bros? Yeah. Ooh, okay. So he's taunting, right? He's and I'm backed off. For, he, clearly, he clearly thinks I'm <laughs> p- stitching myself up, which you also can't do anything. So he knows that he's safe. I'm stitching myself right. up. He's going to taunt. I'm taking out my hat, and I just chuck it, and he, <laughs> and he dies. Nice. And I killed him that way, and I was like, yeah. And he was, he was outwitting me. I'll be honest. But I was like, you fucked up. <laughs> um, so that's not the end of the story. Oh, okay. So I obviously pissed this guy off. Because, I mean, <laughs> did you piss him off or did he? It's his own fault. Oh, he was being, yeah, he was being, he was being a silly goose. And he shouldn't have been. And he lost because of it. But um, all of a sudden he's in first place. Okay. I, I pissed him off. <laughs> he, he was, like, raging at that point. So um, there was one time I didn't even know he was in a group of guys, and I just go in sword flailing, and he got a good shot off, and I had already been beat up, so I died. And he starts la- – he taunts me. He's laughing at me. And I was okay. like, okay, well, you killed me. Um, and then every time I'm fighting somebody and he's in the general vicinity, he, he keeps coming over and – getting the last hit and like taunting me okay so i was this and by the way i was on free for all because i was trying to practice my axe throwing funny enough that's actually what okay so i wasn't going for kills so i'm like probably third from the bottom Mm. Uh, clearly i'm like just fucking around right like three of those and i was like all right fuck this dude (laughs) i ended up coming in second with only like four kills away from him (laughs) i was like I was just like, this This guy can fuck off, okay? <laughs> I'm not even trying. You want me to try, I'll fuck you up. Yeah, see, there's something to be <laughs> said about, like, overconfidence no matter what. Like, he, he, he taunted when he thought you were healing because what a perfect time to taunt he right. thought to himself. <laughs> um, and that was the last thing he ever thought. Uh, <laughs> but then he... Also taunted every time he killed you. I don't know. It's just a little like it's a bit much. It's a it's a little like if he if I didn't quite just, deserve it. I was just playing the video game. Well, here's it, the thing: if he gets a kill off and then he like like muscle memory clicks taunt that I I understand that I do that in Smash Brothers all the time. Um, but like the fact that he also used you healing as an opportunity to taunt is a little like all right. Well, pick and choose where you're right. Taunt. Don't do it all the time. Look, there's the animation. Quick. Look, oh, look, there it is. oh, there it's it just, is. It lasts too short. I'll fix that. Thank you. For Thank the you new very follower. much. We really appreciate it. Uh, sorry, we were like, look, look at it, look at it. <laughs> oh yeah, we just sorry. We, no, we we. Uh, <laughs> Lightning was complaining about not seeing the. Yeah, uh, I, j- I haven't seen that notification in forever. Hey man, saw your post on Reddit. Came by to drop a follow and support the channel. Thank you. Thank so you so much. much. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> kick, kick yo ass boy sixty nine. Yeah, Love it. perfect, Love it. perfect Love for it. this story. That, that username is like. A seven out of ten until you put the sixty nine, <laughs> and then it's a it's a an eleven out of ten. <laughs> it's a it's a sixty nine out of ten. It's a thirteen out of five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, ch- oh, check out my channel too after your podcast, guys. I'll hang around. Check out this. Uh, yeah. Oh, totally. sure thing. Yeah. Yeah, you um uh, a cheeky follow for follow that I noticed. Uh, yeah, our uh, slash Twitch support doesn't appreciate, but uh, we'll do it. I'll do that. On my uh, personal account too. Is it just? Is it just this this um, username? Just follow this this yeah, channel. Yeah. Are we co- are we cool to just click your name and follow the link and go to your channel? Because we will do. Because he mentioned podcast, which almost makes me think maybe he's uh, they're they're also on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He says I don't care, man. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. In reference to the um, where is the ch- is chat showing up on? There we go. Have you Here's have you gotten rid of chat in favor of the follow button? Is that what I'm hearing? No, fucking Mason <laughs> fucked with my settings. I don't know what to tell you. They're all wonky, and it's fine. I can fix them. I just <laughs> I don't notice they're broken until they break. You right, know? No, I hear you. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for following. Yeah, thank we're you. Gonna, we're gonna get back to talking about uh, 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 what we were doing. We will definitely follow you. I'll do. Yeah, it absolutely. Uh, Chris probably just did it or. I, I, will do do it. Or, yeah. I will do it. I will do it. We'll we'll do it. We you got us. We got you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, um I was gonna say small channel support, but like I don't know. This channel could have like like fifty thousand. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mason. <laughs> Mason's in chat. Oh no. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not angry. I wasn't when I was yelling. Okay. All right. Hold on. Can I make it just me? No, that'd be funny, though. Uh, listen, I wasn't yelling at you, Mason. I was just, in general, the cra- I'm. S- it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's fine. I told you it was fine. You're I- making so many enemies on this, on this podcast. Anyways, <laughs> so that was pretty much it. The guy was, the guy was really good. At the end of the day, he was just yeah, a little yeah. too cocky, and no, I think that's... I think I took him down a few pegs right off the bat, and that really set the tone for the rest of the right. for the rest of the match. Yeah, I oh God, there was um, if I can go off on a tangent real quick. Yeah, you talking about this person who like tr- uh, 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 who uh, uh, e- what's the word taunts no matter what um, is reminding me of um, back in. Like the first few years of college, I would play Pokemon Showdown. Do you know what that is? I've heard of it. I'm so Pokemon not Showdown sure. is not even really a video game. It's more of a like a program where you essentially go in, you make a Pokemon team. You can put the stats however you want. You can cust- completely customize the team. There's no catching. There's no playing okay. an actual Pokemon game. It's just here's a spreadsheet. Oh, so kind of like Stadium. But probably better. It's like Stadium, except if there was literally, like, it's not a game. It's just a text file. You, like, you put in all the stats, and now you have a team, and then you you battle other players yeah, with yeah. your team. So there is battling, but it's more like, it's more like, it, rather than Pokemon Stadium, it's more like come here to practice your competitive team, right? Sure, sure. Um, and there was this one... Um, this one game mode that I really, really liked because it wasn't competitive in nature. And it was called, it was called like random doubles or something like that. Essentially you load in with an entire team of six and you pick one, you can see their six, you get to, they get to see your six, you pick one of them and then it's just those two Pokemon and then the round is over. So you don't know which they're going to pick. You don't know. So it's all random, right? Like maybe you like picked a fire Pokemon. I picked a grass Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gambled incorrectly. There was this one fucking guy, <laughs> probably a I child. I can't wait. Who, yes. It was just. It wasn't even like. It was just weird. It got to the point where I was like, "This is weird." So he would always win random doubles. Literally always. I kept matching up with this dude because not many people were playing that game mode, and I think it was regional. So he probably you know lives in this yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. Um. He would always win. I only ever beat him once. But every single time he would win, there's a chat function. You can chat with your opponent. He would never chat. He would always just win, and then he would send a chat that said, get good, G-I-T-G-U-D. Oh, you've told me about this. And then yeah. he would bail. That would be the whole conversation. We, he'd win, he'd, <sighs> we'd get in there. We'd pick our Pokemon. He'd win. He'd say, get good, and then he'd bail. That was it. And I, like... The and uh, the 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 avatar that he was using was an old one, so it like wasn't even offered by the game anymore. It Damn. was one of those situations where I was like, an elder of the game. It was just like, but also like based on my chatting with this person, it seems like a twelve-year-old. Right. I don't know. It was just such a weird. And I'm not sitting here like, and therefore that guy sucked, and I hated playing him. Like I don't give a shit. Random doubles is like gambling. That's why I liked it so much. But that was it was just so weird. I was like, say anything else. Say right. anything else. Yeah. I sometimes it, it be like that. Sometimes you know people me, are I just get trolls. This, you know me, I'd get the but is that trolling? I guess it is. For yeah. it, for, I, I, I because I'm now I'm still thinking about it. I mean the other dude trolled me too. We had a spar, like a little a one on one, nobody interrupted. He got cocky and I called him out on it. And then because of that, he b- couldn't get over it. He couldn't get over himself for the rest of the match. I embarrassed him immediately, (laughs) and he couldn't get over it. Which, like, that happens. But I I just, I I didn't come there to be competitive. I know I that's... I'm how that match ended up, as you said. Yeah, and I know I'm the odd man out. Like, you go to free-for-all, it's kind of, you're there to to show your stuff. I go to free-for-all because I wanted to practice my axe throwing without hitting a teammate. Right. I just wanted to... Practice oh, swinging you can't, at people. You can't turn team damage off in that game. No, which oh, gets interesting. Which adds a whole other level of toxic masculinity because <laughs> you accidentally hit someone because you're new to the game, and they're just like the fuck. Oh yeah. And then they then they beat the shit out of you for the rest of the match. Um, 
But uh, all, uh, all while losing their team points, I can only assume, right? Well, just not contributing to the to the match. Oh, so if you accidentally kill your opponent, you don't score you, on yourself? You get pings, and if you get enough, people can try to kick you from the match. Right. Well, now, because, yeah, because now you're, at a certain point, now you're, you're, gr- you're just straight up trolling. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, that can happen, but, like, if it, it's, nobody, that doesn't happen too often. If somebody's being a real piece of shit, someone will try to kick you. But, um, I forget where I was going with this. It ended up being competitive, mm. and I know I was the odd man out, but, like, I feel fun, like I didn't I entice you... that in, in, instance no i mean he this 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 player made a genuine mistake and they it cost them the round and then they it sounds like they threw a temper tantrum and you reacted how anyone would sounds like fun like i know you lost ultimately and this guy was kind of like i came in second out of like 40 players right so i'll i'll take that right and i wasn't even that's not even what i was there for you know like i come in second and you're like, oh yeah, but you lost. To me, that's a win. I beat out. I wasn't even. Tr- I showed up not trying, and then right. I was well, like, well, you said Fuck you were. Guy. You said you were like what, twenty eighth out of thirty or some shit like that, and then you made it all yeah, the way to second. Yeah, I seconds. was. I was like second or third at the bottom of the roster, and then I ended up in second. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but all, but that guy I think came in first because I pissed him off. Then I came in second because he pissed <laughs> me off. Yeah. How long are <laughs> matches? Um, either first person to get to the to the amount it's usually 40 or 41 kills okay or i think it's like a 10 minute time limit. Oh, okay yeah because i was gonna say you you're you know, what you're describing is like a three act like i pissed him off and then yeah. he pissed me off so in turn <laughs> in the last 100 pages of the book i came around and i pissed him off i just got to the point after like the third time he snuck up behind me and killed me while i was fighting somebody else i just got to the point where i was like Okay, obviously you're going to be sneaky, so I'm not going to try and head on, like, find you in the crowd to kill you. I'm just going to beat you. That right. was just the point that I got to. I didn't win, ultimately, but, like, I think I made my point. Yeah. Our one on our first one-on-one, we both know we're fighting each other instance, I wrecked him. <laughs> and then in, in the Rocky style, in the last few minutes of the round, I was like, all right, fuck you. And then I got to say yeah i guess i don't know i guess it's just the difference between a good player and a great player like i i feel like i feel like if that was me if i if i saw you were healing and i felt it in my bones to taunt in that (laughs) moment and then whoops you weren't healing and then i died i wouldn't be mad at you i would be like oh that well that was stupid of me well you know I've run into situations like this before in the game where somebody just straight up thinks they're better than you and I've proved them wrong on the spot. After you die, you have a commend the person who killed you button. I knew shit was going south the second he didn't he commend didn't me. Because I was like, that was pretty slick. Whether right. you want to... Ad- I've been on the receiving end of situations like that in this game where someone just owns me and I wasn't expecting it, and I'll just I, be like, all right, you, you deserve that. I one. like that. I, I'd press yeah. that shit all the time in, in Smash Brothers or, uh, or God, in Smite. Because there, there's some cool stuff where I'm like, so, sometimes in games like that, specifically Smite, it'll be like, the fuck, I thought, uh, whatever, I guess I'm dead now. But there'll yeah. be sometimes where it's like, it's anybody's game between me and this one yeah. person. And then it's like, ah, oh, they cool. won. That was so cool, though. It's cool when that happens. I would love a commend button. That's so cool. I, I like that chivalry has that. Well, chival I don't know. There's like I some mean, it's cool called chivalry. Right, right, right. <laughs> There's some cool things that happen in this game. Like, I was sparring with another guy. It was just the two of us. And it was coming down to it, like me and this dude. And this guy could have been a dick or just not acknowledged that this happened. But, like, where literally next person to lands a hit is going to kill the other person. And an arrow just goes right through my head. Nice. And I just fall. <laughs> I expected this guy to either, like, not acknowledge it or just, you know, be a dick. And he just does this. Oh, nice. <laughs> he was like, that sucked, <laughs> essentially. And I, like, I was like, yeah, we really we really had something going right there. But yeah. But whatever. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's enough about chivalry. Um, I think that was essentially my week. 
How was your week? Um, so unfortunately, my week was um, not interesting because I had a money issue that. Yes, um, well, that's interesting in and all in well, and I of itself. Gonna, I wasn't going to really talk about it mostly because all right, if you don't want to, that's fine. Well, b- mostly because it's res- been resolved. Everyone yeah. was paid everything they're due, and it's fine. But it did take up a larger portion of my. Yeah. Uh, you know, the last four days than I thought it would, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, that that's yeah. I I if if it was still ongoing, I'd be like, listen to this bullshit. But right. it's fine. Everything's fine. The person who was supposed to fix the problem not only fixed it, but was like super nice. That's uh, good about fixing it, which was cool. Um, so that that's that's good for that. Essentially, w- I will explain this part. Yeah, I was. I knew, based on the hours I worked, that I would be getting the most money I've ever gotten for this job. And once I did some calculations, I was like, I'm going to have enough money to pay back some things that I owe some people and also have over $1,000 to spend on me or to save or whatever, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, and then I got paid incorrectly, and I essentially had exactly enough money to pay back everyone I owed money and then just sit there and be like, well... I'm supposed to have more money, but right. I don't. But they fixed it, and now I have all my money. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I did, couldn't fall asleep the other day, so I started watching our channel. Um, I I watched some weird ones, some ones that maybe I haven't uh, rewatched over again. Yeah, any favorites sticking out? Any well, time favorites? I Well, here's the thing. I always expect to cringe for lack of a better term okay um but it's a weird thing to fall asleep to then well uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um no but i watched um what did i watch i watched um i watched our uh movie jason versus all that oh cool um, how was that that one's that one's pretty good i like it it's, okay it gets a little like off the rails but i think it gets like appropriately off the rails like i think we knew what we were doing Cool. Um, the ending in particular is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, um, and I watched, um, I watched my two recent videos, the um, the party, the uh, temporary party members, and hot dog water. Um, nice. Hot dog water video has a few more views than I thought it did. I watched um, my comparison of Knives Out and A Simple Favor. It's fine. I understand why it doesn't have that many views. Um, I watched, what's the other you and me one? Oh, I watched the, um, pandemic best of movies. Oh, okay. That one, cool. that one is like, you know, I don't have anything like, I'm not like, I'm very proud of it or I really hate it. It's yeah. just like, it happened and yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, what surprised me was I watched my, um, my superhero team video or the one where it's just me standing in front of a whiteboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I expected to really hate that one. I don't know why. I just remember it being not good. I kind of like found myself really liking it and th- finding that my humor was more on point than I thought it would be. I don't know. Maybe I just like am in a different headspace entirely. Yeah, um, that that happens. Yeah, that was the one I watched where I was like, "This is pretty good," and I think I'd like it to have more views. You know, there's there's definitely like some videos that you watch it and you're like. This has got a lot of views, right? And then you look and it's like, oh, it's only got 14. But then there's videos like the crossover movie where it's like you look at the views, you're like, that's the amount of views that I expected yeah, yeah. this video to have. Or sometimes you make a mashup and it just goes crazy and nobody expected it to. I don't like – I don't know what happened. <laughs> but, like, I'm not going to sit what, here what, – like, What went wrong? What went wrong? What went right? Why people reacted to that one, but not my Avril Lavigne one, which is essentially the same like situation. A highly edited, like, n- I mixed all together. The Blackpink one is doing okay. Is it? That one sucks. <laughs> it's got over a thousand. The Blackpink one has over a thousand? The mashup. Oh, I'm thinking of the Munsters. Isn't that the mashup? No, oh, the Munsters the mashup. Agatha and oh, Munsters yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah, has yeah. over a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that one, I also think kind of sucks but people like it so that's fair but the thing is like and i don't like to brag but like you did it first what do you mean that mashup you were you did it first right oh no i don't even care about that i in reference to the three cabs video um i also prefer it to like i'm not gonna lie it's got like what like one hundred twenty thousand views at this point probably like 
13 of them are mine. Like, I also prefer to – that's why I made it because I was like, the perfect version of this mashup doesn't exist. Allow me to make it, and then I'll listen to it. And then <laughs> I did, and it just so happens that everyone else listens to it as well. I don't know – don't know why. <laughs> um, oh, and the, my Deoxys video has, like, a crazy awesome – comment on it that I wanted to mention. The comment was like, it was like, your this video is cool, s- stuff about this video. And then at the end, it was like, your channel deserves more uh, recognition and views. Because you guys cool. are really cool. It made me feel n- neat, especially on that video, which I feel like is cool, and I tried hard on it, and I feel like it doesn't have that many views um, in comparison to how many I thought it would. So it was cool that the one comment on it was like, this is fucking awesome, and you guys deserve more recognition. That's cool. It made me, it made me feel cool. It made me feel good about myself. And then I eventually went to sleep. Um, <laughs> yeah, I forgot I that's where that that whole story was heading. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know if I did. Uh, I have a few board games I could talk about. Those I I, I got some new high end uh, board games that I tried out with my parents. So I think they're really good. I feel like I had a food story, but I you could do reviews don't. of those board games. I is it okay? Is it kosher to do a unboxing video if you've already opened it and played it? I don't know about that. I wouldn't call it unboxing. I would call it a review. And you could spend most of the... Th- like, if you want to spend most of the time being like, look at this cool shit, right. do that. But I would call it a review, not an unboxing. Well, the, what's cool about these board games that I got is that it, it's part of the... I think you're supposed to pronounce their company, Come On, because it's C-M-O-N. <laughs> So I think it's supposed to be come on. Okay, okay. Um, come on what? Come on animation collection. Oh, you were being lewd. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> um, so essentially what I bought was uh, two board games that use what they're calling the Mayhem system. Um, and I have Looney Tunes Mayhem and Teen Titans Go Mayhem. And oh. then in addition to those two things, I bought something called the Scooby-Doo board game. I saw that downstairs. Yeah. yeah. So what the thing about these games, I have not played the Scooby-Doo one yet. That's next on the list. Okay. Um, the games are fun. The games are fine. The, 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 the uh, rules make sense. Uh, and I think you and our various friends we sometimes play board games with would appreciate them. Cool. Um, but what's really cool... Is that is the the figures? They're not. Okay. It's not just like a, a red a red piece, you know, like from Clue. It's like a high detailed like like figure of Bugs Bunny, you know. Oh, and I have cool. I have figures for for all the important Looney Tunes. Everyone that uh, anyone would give a shit about from Teen Titans, except for Terra for some reason. I don't know if she's not in Go. I don't watch okay. Teen Titans Go. Um, I have. Because I got the deluxe version of the Scooby Doo game, I have the entire Scooby game. Sc- Are they Scooby. also high quality? Yes. Nice. But I have. This is my favorite part. I hot have, dog water. I have no, 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 not hot dog water. Please come on. Um, <laughs> but uh, I have the entire Scooby gang. I have Scrappy. I have the Mystery Machine. I have Dastardly and Muttley from Wacky yeah, Races, yeah. and I have a little figure for every single Scooby Doo villain from season one. All Holy like thirteen shit. of them or whatever. The, wow. the the spook kook, I think his name is, the, like, terrifying one that people love to, the creeper, the clown, like, all of them. Both Holy witches. Shit. It's there It's, and what's cool about das- the Dastardly and Muttley pieces is you can play them as villains in the Scooby-Doo game, or you can play them as heroes in other Mayhem games. So, so like, <coughs> Dastardly and Muttley work as playable characters in Teen Titans Go, or whatever, you know? So what you're saying is we're going to get a... Uh Universal in um, in uh, Warner Brothers. Yeah, uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, universe in our D and D campaign. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've already said too much. T- Tara is in Teen Titans Go. She's actually a legit villain in the series. Don't ask me how I know that. Um, well, then why isn't she? They did. So, was there a deluxe you didn't get for that? No, DLC? I actually looked it up. The only thing I didn't not DLC. The only thing I the only expansion I didn't purchase was the Wacky Races board game that they also made, which I did not care about. Um, no, because so he, okay, so actually, yeah, let's talk about that because 
here's the thing about these games. The the basic game, the standalone game, the one that you could probably buy in Target, it has four characters. For Looney Tunes, I think they did a pretty good job picking characters. They picked Bugs, Daffy, um, Elmer Fudd, and Tasmanian Devil. And okay. then everyone else is a bonus character that you can buy on Kickstarter. For Teen Titans, they picked Robin, Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire. Oh, okay, they kept the most obnoxious one out. But the most obnoxious one, as you've so lovingly called him, he's in the expansion pack, but the expansion pack technically, in, where the Looney Tunes expansion has eight more characters, this one technically only has five, because t- one of them's Slade, one of them's Trigon, one of them's Jinx, one of them's Mammoth, and then the other one, the other four slots is Beast Boy. Because the way Beast Boy works oh, okay. is if you yeah, have yeah. a... I'm not going to explain this any further, but if you have a star on the Mayhem dice, Beast Boy turns into one of three animals, and they all have a figure. There's a gorilla, That's a cool. cheetah, and a T-Rex. That's cool. Um, so he, he was pretty Is neat. the... I can only imagine the Teen Titans Go is their uh, That Show's animation, not the Teen yes. Titans animation. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I also have... Um, Nightwing and Blackfire, if you know those characters. I know Nightwing. I, uh, Blackfire Black... is Starfire's evil sister. Oh, then yes, I know I know both of them. And then, um, yeah, and then I made sure to get uh, Dick Dastardly and Muttley. My favorite part uh, of this whole thing, and the, sort of the reason I wanted to do a video, um, was that in the deluxe version of the Scooby-Doo game, there's empty slots. It just comes with two slots that are empty. They, they, are fo- they fit... The Muttley oh, and that's the Daffy. Cool. So if you want, I'm not going to do this, but if you want, you could just throw away the box that Muttley and da- the little tiny box that Muttley and Dastardly came in, and you can keep them in your uh, Scooby Doo Deluxe case. That's cool. Which I thought was pretty cool. I got a question. Yeah. Are these pieces? Um, I'm, d- I'm sorry if I'm just wasting time. Are these pieces die cast or plastic? I'm really dying to know. I guess I could go oh, downstairs and find out. Die cast is metal. Oh, they're Pla- not metal. They're, they're plastic. plastic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Still high quality though. They're. I'd say they're. I mean, they're 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 bigger than D and D pieces, right? They're like this. Oh this shit. Big, okay. You'd say. So I'd say like. That's pretty big. I was expecting them to be pretty much D and D size. No, they're 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 they're, they're uh, pretty big uh, compared to. I'd say quality wise, we're looking at like. Like uh, w- in reference to like detail and paint jobs and stuff like that, I'd compare them to early amiibos. Okay. Modern amiibos, no, n- no comparison. The modern amiibos are like so detailed. Yeah. Um, but I I'd compare them to early like the r- the really early ones like the Peach and the Marth and the Rosalina. I'd compare them in quality to those. Okay. Okay. Fair. <sighs> but yeah, those are those are um, they're fun. I think you'd like them, and they they. I think my favorite part is that you can like mix and match. Like if you, yeah, if you wanted really to cool. play as well. Oh, it's kind of like your uh, DC game, the deck building game. Um, yeah, that you can just like c- combine all of them. Yeah. Well, you see, yeah, the the deck building game is interesting because like each time they did a new set, it had like a new mechanic, and it was like make sure you know about this before you play. But um, this like mayhem ses- system that they've set up that uh, cesspool. Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> yeah, the mayhem cesspool. No one's ever said those two words <laughs> in the history of <laughs> the world, um, like that. Um, no, what's cool about the mayhem system is like, even though you probably you probably aren't supposed to be able to do this, like if you want to play as Beast Boy in the Looney Tunes game, like you probably could. You just right. I, I I thought about this. You you just substitute the word fire for poison, and then you're good. Um, hello. Hey, Toga. I'm, I'm talking about the board games we played and yeah, how fun they for were. Joining. Um, the one thing I will say about this board game, which I was like, oh, okay, it's, um, it's essentially two player or four player only. And if you try to play with three players, they're like, you could, but don't. So, oh yeah, you were telling, yeah, you were telling Essentially you like, if, if it's you versus me, we're each going to play as two characters. Yeah. If it's four people, it's going to be you and someone versus me and someone. Yeah. Or, but, but, but you have to be on a team because it's. 1v1 this game so with three players they're like you could do this weird game mode that's not fun or you could just do one person plays two and two people play one right um and it's like kind of i was kind of like after everything after like reading all the rules and seeing all the work that went into this game i was just like really for three payer you're just like yeah fuck it like figure it (laughs) out i guess it was just a little like oh okay well whatever 
but I still had fun. Um, Do I get into? I remember us talking about this the other night. Should I talk about how any game can be one player as long as you try super duper hard, like I used to? Oh my to? god! Um, my three board risk games that I would play by myself. Let's not do that for the sake of uh, all the news. All right, if should, uh, anybody wants to hear about my three board risk games, uh, ch- tune in next week. Well, I mean, I want to hear about it, but like, we're you know, we should get into. Uh, oh yeah, no, no, news. no. We're 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 cutting into the Pinocchio's time. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to try not to. Right. Um, okay. News time. Um, b- big, b- we didn't really talk about, we could have talked about this last week, but we didn't because it was like our bet one, our our, po- our stream back from not doing it for a while. Yeah. But uh, D23 happened, and I'm going to try to go over it without looking at notes. I think I can go do for it. it. That would um, be cool. So... I'm actually watching a couple of cool Disney things. I'm debating whether to talk about them now or later, but go okay. ahead. Yeah, save them for the next one. Okay. Um, so let's start with Marvel. Um, uh, if you don't know, D23, the big, essentially just E3 except for Disney, talk about everything and, and Disney, everything Disney owns. Um, so they talk about Marvel. Not much to report on Marvel, honestly. Um, oh, I feel like we know everything for the next couple of years. They they released a trailer for Secret Invasion. Um, it's a TV show starring Sam Jackson, Ben Mendelsohn, and Don Cheadle. Mm. And if you don't know what Secret Invasion is, it's basically how many of your favorite Marvel superheroes have been scrolls this whole time. And I think they're, I think War Machine's going to be the big like, got ya. He's been Damn, a scroll be since crazy. whenever. That's going to be exciting. That's like a hard confirmation of this mystery they've set up, like three years ago yeah of who's a scroll and who's not right that'll be cool do you think <gasps> yeah wait no hit us i just thought of something that i don't think i've seen anyone talk about do you think they're gonna do like a war machine was a scroll that's why he looks different because he was played by a different actor in the first oh, movie oh shit that'd do you be think crazy they're gonna do some shit with that make a video essay <laughs> <laughs> that Ooh, that might be that might be fun um they also showed something called Werewolf by Night. I had no idea what this is. Apparently, it's an actual comic. The movie is going to be a straight-to-Disney Plus horror movie, um, completely in black and white, um, about a dude who can turn into a werewolf. Uh, apparently, this character is commonly associated with Doctor Strange. Okay. Apparently, Moon Knight got his start as a villain in the Werewolf by Night comics. Okay. Did, um, did that would make sense. That. If you know the Marvel supervillain man thing, he's going to yep. be in the show. Yep. Um, he looks, they showed him for like two frames. He looks awesome. Um, but yeah, just sort of out of nowhere, some cool, probably cool Halloween thing they're doing. Probably not horror, probably not scary. But and is that for like this, set for this um Halloween? Yes. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah, I think it's like the twentieth or something. Is that I Am Groot show out yet? Yeah, it came out. It was it wasn't a show, like it was six. Is shorts. it shorts? Yeah. Okay. So you they they all have their own page on Disney Plus. You can't like Yeah, I saw okay, that's what that is. Yeah. I I saw one and I was like, Okay, but is this just like you know how sometimes like with Obi Wan, they were like, Obi Wan Kenobi bringing back a Jedi, it's a documentary. Right, right. right. Like, I, I saw that, and yeah. I was like, okay, does every single thing you make have to have, like, a little, here's how we Even made I it. I am Groot. No, that's the, that's, uh, Those yeah. are the actual it was, shows. I think, five I gotcha. shorts okay. geared towards children. I will probably watch them eventually. I hear Rock I'm sure Raccoon there's something cameo. important. I'm sure there's something important in there. I'm sure that, yeah, the four they movies. They want you to watch every single thing. F- five movies from now, Kang is going to be like, do you remember when Groot did this? Yeah. He fucked everything up. No, seriously. <laughs> I, that's I confirmed you have to watch every Marvel thing from What If and the, the latest Doctor oh, Strange yeah. movie. I mean, yeah. confirmation that watch yeah. everything they make. I mean, th- like... It, in humans too, I guess. Like uh, literally oh, everything. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like fuck it. Daredevil's get his own TV show again. Watch the <laughs> uh, like. It's just like yeah. If we put it on Disney Plus, watch it. Unless it's Iron Fist. That's the vibe I get <laughs> from them. Um, so that was basically it for uh for Marvel, I believe. I think something got a new title. I don't remember. That was all. That was all the trailers that they released. Uh, for Marvel. Take it over to Star Wars. We got a trailer for The Mandalorian Season 3. Um, I haven't watched any of these, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, 
Mandalorian Season 3, I always kind of feel this way about The Mandalorian. I'm sure it's going to be great, but the trailer, I was just like, that sure looks like a Star Wars. Like, I, I was okay, just like, yeah, yeah, watching yeah. the trailer, I was just like... Nothing seems, exciting popped out? I mean, the one exciting thing is it seems like they're going to do... It seems like Bo-Katan is, like, the main antagonist of this. Oh, that's cool. Like, but in a way, like, she's not evil. But yeah, she's she, like, want, she wants the, the Darksaber. Right, but she doesn't want it the way he wants her to have. It's it's right. an interesting dynamic. And she wants to kill two. him to have it because that's the yeah. It's it's an interesting dynamic between those two characters, and it seems like it's going to be elaborated on in this season. Um, they showed off a new trailer for Andor. I didn't even watch it. I don't think I'm going to watch this television. It show. sounds like it might be off the hook. It sounds like some crazy Ahsoka shit might happen in Andor. From what I've been hearing, I okay. I was with you until I started seeing people be like, "Why? Are, but why are they doing a so crazy association and or if I Ahsoka's think getting her own TV show?" I may be wrong about the crazy some some crazy shits happening in Andor. I thought it was Ahsoka related. If it is, I have a feeling she's weaving stories together at this point. Yeah, Ahsoka is the Sam Jackson. Of the Star Wars universe right you now. You know, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. But it kind of seems like the Mandalorian's already doing that. I don't know. Well, I they're doing some cool... Okay, Star Wars, the TV shows yeah. of the modern age. This is kind of cutting into that video essay I'm, I'm going <laughs> to make. Is doing what the MCU has been doing. Like, it's, it's getting good. And they're starting to interweave stories and stuff, which they should have been doing the whole time. Yeah. It just... It finally seems like... St- Disney kicked ass with the MCU, and it seems like they're finally replicating that with another IP for, like, the first time since they've owned the MCU. Mm. They're finally like, that worked. It's a, and, they're, and they're both the same medium. And Why I not just only, do that again? I can only assume that th- all credit to Jon Favreau, the one connecting producer but from Yeah, both. I can only imagine. Um... That's the thing. That's kind of where my head is at. If Andor is good, I'll throw it on, but I'm not going to watch it week by week. Yeah, I'm that's not fair. excited for it. I don't like Rogue One, but if it's good, then it's good, you know. Um, 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 they announced, I believe it's called Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. Yeah, it is I'm very excited about Clone that. Clone Wars animation <laughs> style anthology series but about canonical... Early. Uh, uh, Star Wars stories that kind of yeah. all take place around the same time period. It seems like, based off the trailer I watched, it seems like one of the stories is going to focus around the events following the death of Queen Amidala, and it seems like one of them is just going to be Ahsoka and Anakin focused, which everyone's always in the mood for that. The well, one I'm the most interested in is the uh, Count Dooku, but he's a good guy, and his Padawan yeah. is Qui-Gon Jinn. Well, I was just going to say, some of them take place like way before the Skywalker saga at all. Yeah. Yaddle's going to be in it, which is exciting. I saw that too. That's cool. I, I feel like Star Wars has kind of been memeing that character between last, uh, between um, um, uh, Jedi Fallen Order and the the um, Lego game. And I just feel like I keep hearing news about her, but it's never like she's back and she's awesome. It's just like kind of like, oh, isn't that funny? So yeah. it's cool that she's going to, it seems like she's finally going to get She might say something. Her moment. Has she never said anything? I don't think she's ever said anything. Does she not speak in Phantom Menace? I thought she did. Or she's not in Phantom Menace. She's in Attack of the Clones. I think she speaks once. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> I, I I think the prequels are the ones I've binged the least, like, on, on repeat. That's crazy. It's definitely the sequels for me that I've seen the less, the less, the least, the the lesser than. The yes. Not as many. I get, yes. Okay. You're good. You're good. Um, the half as much. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever you t- are saying. <laughs> Whatever you continue to say. Um, uh, and that's that's it for Star Wars, I guess. Like I said, I'm trying to do this. Uh, uh, Did they talk about the card game that they made? The card game that they, like, prom- like Krispy Kreme promised Dunkin' Donuts that they were going to knock them out of New England and then never did, where Disney was like, we're looking at you, Magic. This card game going to fuck your shit up. Uh, Did that get mentioned at all? Possibly. I know I heard about it, but I'm I'm just trying to remember um, trailers I saw. There is a um, unnamed, uh, uh, in so far untitled Black Panther Captain America video game coming out. Oh, the that's only cool. thing we know about it is there's going to be four playable characters. It's going to be, and none of them are either of them. It's going to be Black Panther, Captain America, Winter Soldier, and Okoye. 
that those would be the oh, people. That was the other thing that Marvel did. There was no trailer for it, but they announced a lineup for the Thunderbolts. Did you hear about this? I've heard of the. I heard about the Thunderbolts. I know nothing about. So it. So the Thunderbolts. You know, uh, Elaine from Seinfeld. Yes. This is what she's been doing. Oh, okay. She's been okay. making the Thunderbolts. So the I thought she was making like the Anti Avengers or whatever. That's essentially what this is. Oh, the Thunderbolts okay. is essentially the Suicide Squad, thematically speaking. Okay. You know, so sh- it's going to be her. Obviously, it's going to be. There's a lot of characters how, that we expected and there's a lot of characters that we didn't expect so obviously evil captain america yeah from the show is going to be in it yelena is going to be mm-hmm. in it yelena's dad is going to be in it david harbour's character oh sick okay um, it's going to have ghost the villain from ant-man and the wasp yeah. who can walk through walls i thought she couldn't anymore though i don't know i don't know oh, okay it's going to have um it's going to have zemo uh, oh yes, yeah, okay. And it's going to have uh, the Winter Soldier, which was the big oh, like, shit. whoa, that's a big name. I didn't expect yeah. that. Um, so that seems really. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, so that ties into. He's like super excited not to be working with uh, Falcon Winter Soldier anymore. I didn't read into it yet, but like Sebastian Stan, Stan is, I guess, made like a comment that he was like glad to not be working with. Anthony Mackey? Oh, as a as a joke or I don't know. I thought oh. that they were super tight. I hope it right. was a joke, but like Well, cuz I know that Anthony Mackey loves to shit on his castmates and stuff. Right. Well, that's that's what I'm saying, but I don't know. I don't know if it was yeah. a joke or not. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I didn't um sorry, I am doing this off memory. The other thing I didn't expect in the Secret Invasion trailer, Martin Freeman character Martin Freeman's character is Morgan Freeman? No, Martin Freeman. The um the the white no, dude know. from Black Panther. But what if it was Morgan Freeman? If it was Morgan, they're kind Freeman. of the same person. <laughs> sure, yeah, man. Um, so I think that's it for for Marvel and Star Wars. There was a lot of actual Disney stuff. They showed a trailer for Hocus Pocus two. It really look. You said you didn't see any trailers, right? I haven't seen the first Hocus Pocus. Well, you don't have to to, to uh, understand what I'm about to say. The Hocus Pocus two really felt like. Force Awakens, it just felt like they were like, what if we did a sequel that was note for note the first movie, but they're all older? Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So it'll probably be good. I'm still blown away by the fact that they were able to get, like, the original three, like, all of them. Yeah. Which was pretty cool. Um, and then there was a trailer for Disenchanted, which is going to be a sequel to Enchanted, which... If you w- 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 were in my room, you'd know that I'm a huge fan of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, they're making they're making a sequel to that. Um, it looks interesting. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It it looks interesting. Um, they got all the original cast, which is cool. Um, but I don't know. Even me being a big fan of Enchanted, I don't know if I wanted a sequel. So we'll we'll see if it was worth it or not when it Kay. comes out. Um. The Little Mermaid trailer. It was just a teaser. Um, so it was. It was. You know, they only show Ariel. They only show a few seconds of a song. I've been looking forward to this movie for quite some time. Um, I think it looks good. Um, from the you know very little I saw, um, I think I I think it's cool that Ariel is not white. Uh, and I think this movie's gonna rock. Um, and the Disney live action movies have honestly been hit or miss for me yeah and i can kind of i'm kind of like holding out hope that this one's a hit um because i i really want it to be are we talking enchanted the one where the princess gets sent to you yes that enchanted they're making a sequel it's called disenchanted is that what that fucking movie's about yeah so see how she's a cartoon and see how there's a cartoon woman oh, and yeah, amy and adams yeah it's the same character the movie starts in the cartoon land she goes into a well she pops out in a manhole cover in live oh, action I new york vaguely city remember that i th- i always thought this was a different cutout no that's one no that's, that's part of the same poster it's because i have a lot of stuff up there the, that's all that's all the same uh oh. poster if you um okay if you touch it, it's textured, so you could tell like what's poster and what's not. Sure. Um, fifteen dollars at Blockbuster, by the way, for that huge fucking poster, in you know, nice. in two thousand eight or whatever. That's but, actually yeah. kind of expensive, probably. <laughs> probably. That was a good movie. I really liked it. Uh, they're making a they're making a sequel, and I don't know how I feel about it because I don't know if it needed a sequel, and it seems kind of late. Like I don't know anyone 
other than people who are specifically my age who are nostalgic for this movie. Right. I don't know. It's it's an interesting something like that just happened too, where they're making a they're making a sequel to a game that nobody gives a shit about. Oh, except okay. Us. I I can't remember for the life of me. Oh, um, I can't remember either. I don't know what you're talking about. This just sounds like a very recent, f- familiar feeling. Right. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I get that. Um, 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 and then, let me think real quick. There was a Knives Out 2 trailer, but it, that's not Disney. Um, but it looked, did you see the Knives Out 2 trailer? No. Dude, I haven't watched anything. Bruh. Is it good? <laughs> it, I... I'm I'm about to watch that trailer like hundreds of times. Damn. But the one fucking thing, there's still not a release date. That trailer no. ended and it still said coming 2022. That's now. <laughs> what do you mean? That's almost not now. That's almost no longer right now. Um but I the 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 best part of the first one is the casting and I think that's going to be the best part of this one too. Cool. Um it's all different people except for Daniel Craig obviously. Yeah. Um who apparently forgot how to do the accent. Have we talked about that? No. Did he open up? Did he t- talk about that? Like in between filming one and two, he filmed James Bond and he was like, whoops, I don't know the accent anymore? Yeah. Oh, we, okay. But like, maybe it's a good thing? It sounded fine to me in the trailer. Fine as in like like oh. the first one. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, shucks. Um, um, the big, the bi- this might sound weird, but the biggest thing that I was the most excited about Solely because it looks so Teletubbies good. Teletubbies are getting a new show? Is, is, yep, you got it. Teletubby, Tubby Custard Time. Are they really? Yeah, for Netflix, though. Good for that. Uh, no, they're making a Willow TV show. Yeah, you were telling me about that. You have not seen Willow, correct? I have not seen Willow. So Willow is a high fantasy setting, obviously. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen it in a long time to be like, it reminded me of D&D or whatever, but it, it it's notable for a couple reasons. One, it's not based off anything. It's like an original screenplay, and it's like this super involved high fantasy. Like you think it's a book series. Um, also, it stars Warwick Davis, mm-hmm. who uh, was in Harry Potter and a bunch of different things. Star um, Wars. He was in Star Wars. Oh yeah, of course he was the main Ewok, right? Yeah, yeah. Among like a million other right. roles. But it also starred Val Kilmer, and if you know anything about Val Kilmer, he can't. He's really Batman. He can't really act anymore, <laughs> okay, because his voice is gone. Oh, he, he, I vaguely. He used that. the power of modern technology to have it recreate his voice, so he can at least talk to people. But acting is sort of a no go. They essentially, because he was in Top Gun, and they did have a scene with him in Top Gun Maverick. I have not seen it. I don't care about those movies. But they got him in there for a little bit, and basically, I was reading, and they basically said Willow season one will not have Val Kilmer's character, who is a pretty big character oh, in the, sec- in the first movie. But season two, their plan is to have him back, at least in a small returning as his cool. original character. Because cool. the character he played is unfortunately a, a huge badass. He's just like, uh, he's essentially just a temporary party member who's just like, I'll do it. And then he's just like super cool. Um, Val Kilmer's not like that anymore like right. he couldn't play that he couldn't reprise that role and have it be the same thing you know yeah. but the willow tv show looks so good it looks so cool i'm not even like that big of a willow fan like i saw the movie once and it was fine the tv show just looks incredible like i like visually the story looks good too like i don't know i just like i'm so excited for this um and, and it's not something I knew was coming. It's not something I've been excited for for a while. Yeah. Typically with me, like, I can't shut up about God of War, right? I've been right. waiting for the new God of War for years, and it's finally almost here. I, I, I sort of nothing, Willow. But this new TV show looks so good. That's cool. I was, cool. like, blown. The first trailer was fine. The second trailer was like, holy shit. Like, I didn't know Willow had it in him. <laughs> All right. Now I got to watch Willow. I got a feeling, though. I got a feeling. See, I watched... The Never end- Ending Story, and then I watched the second one, and both those movies I got through, and I was like, I bet I would have liked those better if I was a kid. I'm but feeling Willow's if not I, a kid's movie. It's not? It's made by Disney, and kids could watch it, but I feel like... But then, does it get into Dark Crystal vibes, where it's like you went a little too 
heavy on the high fantasy lore, and now this movie's just muddled in stuff I don't understand? I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to rewatch it, too. Actually, do you want to watch it together? I'll watch it. Because I was going to rewatch Willow. it before this uh, series. Because, like I said, I haven't seen it let's since I was... Let's watch it at my new house. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, I haven't watched it since I was a kid. It didn't come out when I was a kid. It came out well before I was oh, born. Yeah. Uh, but my mom really liked it, so she showed it to me. And I also ended up liking it. Um, uh, but I haven't watched it in a while. It is old, obviously. It's it's probably got some 80s jank. Some yeah, but that, that stuff happens. Some special effects nonsense. Um, but... Um, I I think, based off my memory, I think you're gonna like it. I think it it is right where you want it to be. It's okay. not quite. Don't watch the Dark Crystal until you're an adult, but it's not quite like Never Ending Story is a kids movie. Right. But okay. it also doesn't it it doesn't go super heavy on the lore. Obviously, it explains what needs to be explained for to drive the plot forward. Yeah. And I feel like it doesn't do much. More than that, and uh, obviously the series probably will, but it's a whole series. Right. So, I don't know. I'm really excited for it. It looks really good. Um, I'm excited for most of the Disney stuff, honestly. The Hocus Pocus 2 looks kind of mid, but I'll probably sit down and watch it at some point, um, especially with, you know, Halloween season being around the corner. And yeah. for some people already here, <laughs> because some people are like, it's August, it's Halloween. Um, and I sympathize with those people, but I just can't until it's October. Um, and that brings us to six o'clock. So I think we're going to call it here and yeah. move on to our discussion about Pinocchio the Pinocchio demands movie. So his thank time. You. So thank you. Uh, just as a reminder, I'm going to do an outro for the YouTube channel, but stick around because we're about to talk all about um, uh, Pinocchio. And I might have a segment to add into uh, this upcoming podcast oh. that maybe will be a mainstay. I don't know. We'll see. A new segment. New segment hype. Uh, one created by lightning, it sounds. Um, so, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a whole Twitch stream that you're missing out on. We stream uh, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Um, and this podcast is on Fridays. Every Friday this is the only thing that's like consistent. Like, we do this. And Wednesdays, it's not these two losers. <laughs> it's two other losers. Um, <laughs> and they're playing Pokemon Crystal. So, check out the Twitch Thank you for watching. Until next time, I've been Thunder. I'm Lightning. And we'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Our channel has daily uploads from podcast video essays, let's plays to skit. Be sure to watch on Twitch. We stream all our video game and podcast content live at 5 EST every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Our intro is by Brad Kendrick and music by Froggy and the Friendship. Link to all that in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.